There's three different options. Um, you can do it without any uh, sedation or anesthesia where all we're doing is numbing you up and you're awake the whole time. Um, yeah. yeah. Not many people pick that one. There's a few people that if they're like working and they're self-employed and they have to be like out of the chair and back to, you know, work. I tell them no work, but they go back to work at house kind of thing. Um, and the second option is what we call IV sedation. And that's where um, I have a sedation license. Dr. Perkins has a sedation license. And, and basically what we do is we give you medication. It does go in an IV and it's, it's, it's called conscious moderate sedation where we give you just enough medication where you're super relaxed. You may, it may feel like to you that you're asleep, but um, it, you lightly are kind of coming into that light consciousness in and out. A lot of people will feel like after the day's over and then when they wake up the next day that they don't remember a thing as if they were asleep the whole time. When in reality, I could be like, hey, gee, open your mouth and, and you actually would open your mouth. It just, you don't have a conscious remembrance of it. And so IV sedation is, is really great for some individuals um, but if, you, if, if patients want to be out, out, um, then I always recommend doing the anesthesiologist. And that's where um, we actually have a room set dedicated just for general anesthesia in our office. We had, it's a, he's a board certified medical anesthesiologist comes in and he works uh, with us. And what's nice about that is that we're able to actually do both arches, top and bottom at the same time, which means it's, it's one surgery. A lot of patients really like that. And it makes it so that procedure can, can be very quick because he's managing your vitals and he's managing everything. So he's like your lifeline. I can focus slowly on just the teeth. Where was the IV sedation? I'm pushing a little bit of medications, but I'm also monitoring. And I have staff that are also monitoring too, but you're monitoring and you're working at the same time. Both are safe, but uh, for people that have high anxiety and they don't want to be awake, anesthesiologist is great. When you do general anesthesia, uh, it basically takes the brain out of it when you do IV sedation or awake, having your mouth open for three or four, you know, sometimes it could be as much as five hours, but likely three or four hours, um, it's just fatigue. And then you start, you know, you almost have to start numbing up this area here. And I don't like to numb people up here if I don't have to. Um, it's just more anesthetic and it, when it wears off, you can, it could be dangerous too if you don't know where your jaw's at. So um, I highly recommend given that if you do have some TMJ issues, when you are 100% asleep, we're just very mindful and careful that we make sure we put your jaw in the right position and then we keep it there. We kind of basically put a, a block in. We have lots of different types of blocks, but it stabilizes it so as we work, we're not cranking on it and doing things that uh, you don't want to do. <laughs>